Hi, welcome to the British Landlord Association YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with our latest video releases. Okay, let's get started. In this video, we are going to cover the following four topics of a Section 21 notice. Number one, what is a Section 21 notice and some background? A Section 21 notice is a no fault notice. This notice is used when you want your property back. When the fixed term tenancy ends, you cannot use it to recover rent rears or cite any other breaches. The date you expect vacant possession of your property cannot be before the fixed term of the tenancy. It is only applicable to short, short hold tenancies. The Section 21 notice is applicable to England and Wales. It is not to be used for properties in Scotland. It cannot and must not be used for license, lodger agreements, common law tenancies, company lit agreements. Okay, section two. Notice period you are required to give to the tenant including the COVID-19 notice period. Before 26th of March 2020, the notice period for a section 21 notice was two months. You had to issue the possession proceedings within four months from the date of the expiry of the section 21 notice. Between 26th of March and 28th of August 2020, the notice period was three months. On or after 29th of August 2020, the notice period for a Section 21 notice went up to six months. You have to issue the possession proceedings for within four months after the notice expires. You can find the text of these dates at the bottom of this video. Section 3. List of things you must ensure you're compliant with. Check the Section 21 notice is the correct form. It should be the prescribed Form 6A. Make sure the time you have given to the tenant to give up a vacant position of the property is correct. If you took a deposit, you're required by law to protect the deposit under the Tenant Deposit Scheme within 30 days of taking the deposit. You must give to the tenant the deposit certificate and the prescribed information. If you're unsure about the deposit certificate or the prescribed information, check with the deposit scheme what documents you need to give to the tenant. You're also required to give to the tenant a gas safety certificate and an EPC. Failure to do this could render your Section 21 invalid. Which fees are banned? The ban came in on the 1st of June 2019 for most private tenancies, starting on or after that date. From the 1st of June 2020, it applies regardless of when your tenancy started. The ban covers assured short-haul tenancies, student lettings and lodges. You cannot charge your tenant things like references, administration costs, credit and immigration checks, renewing your tenancy when your fixed term contract ends. You cannot take more than five weeks rent as a deposit. If you have breached the fee ban, then your Section 21 notice will be rendered as invalid. If the let property is in a jurisdiction where you're required to have a license or it's a HMO and you don't have a valid current license, then you may not be able to use a Section 21 notice. That is until you have a valid current license. If you're unsure whether you need a license or not, you can contact your local council. They'll be able to inform you. If you have disrepairs or you have had disrepairs and the council has served a notice on you, you may not be able to serve a Section 21 notice. This is due to the retaliatory eviction legislation. Section 4. The methods of serving a Section 21 notice on the tenant. You have three options you can use. A. A process server. The average cost ranges from £80 to £130 to use a process server. B. You can give the notice to the tenant by hand or alternatively you can post it through the letterbox. C. You can use Royal Mail and post it by first class post. Avoid posting the Section 21 notice by recorded delivery alone. If you do want to send the Section 21 notice by Royal Mail, send it by first class post and by first class recorded delivery at the same time. If the tenant doesn't sign the recorded delivery, 
at least the normal first class post will still be posted through the letterbox by Royal Mail. Also check your tenancy agreement to see what mode of service is permitted or agreed. If you are a member of the British Landlord Association, you can download a free Section 21 notice from our service page. And finally, there is one more on the list, which is the How to Rent booklet, also known as How to Rent Guide. You must give this to the tenant. You're required to give it when you grant a tenancy to a tenant. However, if you're going to serve a Section 21 notice, you must give that to the tenant before you serve it. You can download this from the government website or you can go on our website, the BLA, and download it from the service page. As of today, 6th of February 2021, the notice period for a Section 21 is six months. When that notice expires, you have four months to go to court. So in total, that's 10 months. If you do not go to court within four months after the notice expires, you're required to reserve the notice. Should you require a Section 21 drafted and serve, you can contact the BLA appointed lawyers. They can draft and serve the notice on your behalf. The cost, inclusive of VAT, is £89. For that, they will draft the legal documents, and they will serve it by first class post and by first class recorded delivery. The British Landlord Association is a free national landlord association for commercial and residential landlords. We cover England, Wales and Scotland. Why not join us today for free? Visit our website which is thebla.co.uk